Hello everybody and welcome back. I know it's been kind of a long time. Today we are going to cover for the first time in months a creation myth. And today's creation myth is that lactase persistence is due to the loss of regulation of the lactase gene. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about the ability to ingest and digest dairy products throughout your life. Specifically, the ability to digest a sugar found in dairy products called lactose. Now, children can digest lactose. That makes sense because we're mammals, so we have to be able to drink milk, right? That, so we have to be able to digest lactose. But usually during adolescence, we lose that ability. And the reason for this is due to a decrease in the levels of expression of the LCT gene, which I'm just going to call the lactase gene. It's the enzyme that allows you to break down lactose. It's got a longer name. We're just going to call it lactase. So normally what happens is you express this lactase gene throughout childhood, and then into adulthood, you decrease the expression of that gene so you're no longer able to break down lactose. The trait of lactase persistence is when you maintain lactase expression throughout adulthood, and that allows you to digest lactose throughout your entire life. Now, the creationist claim re uh, related to lactase persistence is that it's due to a loss of regulation. And usually what we see, and I have an example of this right here, is creationists claiming that you break the repressor that shuts this gene off late in childhood. And the example I'm giving you is from Dr. Kevin Anderson. Uh, he's talking about uh, a mutation in the gene that's immediately upstream on the chromosome from lactase. It's called MCM6. And he says this is a lactase repressor. A repressor is a gene that makes a repressor protein, and then that repressor protein prevents the expression of some other gene. And you can see that right here. Uh, this is these screen grabs. I'll link the YouTube video. It's from a talk he gave to a creationist organization in 2019. So I'll, I'll link the video in the description. And what he's saying right here is you've got your lactase gene right here, and MCM6 makes the repressor, and it blocks that gene. And in the case of lactase persistence, or lactose tolerance, you may have heard it called, you have a mutation that inactivates MCM6, and that allows lactase expression to persist. That's the story that creationists tell, and not just random creationists, like Dr. Kevin Anderson's got a PhD, I think he's a biochemist, um, so this is, this is the story that creationists and creation scientists tell about this lactase persistence trait, that it's not actually new, new, uh, because it's the, the, you're breaking a regulatory function. And furthermore, this is, um, indicative of a problem that evolution has that sure, you can get new traits, but it's due to breaking things rather than making new things, right? So let's talk about why this is wrong. First problem really the only problem. The big problem is that MCM6 is not a lactase repressor. That's not what that gene does. Uh, MCM6 is a helicase subunit. This is the, the, uh, the when you go on a website called Medline that has all, all gene information for the human genome. Um, this is what it says. It's, it's uh, part of the MCM complex with uh, a few other subunits. It's a helicase. It's what breaks the H bonds. Uh, between the two strands of the DNA double helix to initiate DNA replication. It's, it's not a lactase repressor. It doesn't have anything to do with repressing the downstream lactase gene. That's just wrong. The correct explanation for lactase persistence is actually reasonably well understood, which makes it all the weirder that creation scientists get this wrong all the time. We've actually documented several lactase persistence pathways. Now, most of them do involve mutations to MCM6, but here's the thing. Almost all of them are to an enhancer within an intron within the MCM6 gene. Not all of them, but most of them. So what in the world is an enhancer? An enhancer is a regulatory region in your DNA where proteins called transcription factors can bind. Transcription factors will bind to the enhancer, and they will then increase the level of expression of a gene nearby, usually uh, somewhere downstream on the chromosome. And the way this works doesn't really matter. But basically, the DNA, if you have your enhancer and then you have your gene, the, the proteins will bind to the enhancer, and the DNA will kind of bend over, and it'll uh, facilitate the initiation of expression of that gene. 
So this is uh, a figure from a 2008 paper that actually documented uh, a couple of novel mutations that are related to lactase persistence. But what I want you to look at right here is here's some well-documented lactase persistence mutations right here in this region. That's an intron. And you can see they're very, you know, simple, just single base substitutions. They're all like within a nine base pair region, right? They're very close to each other within that exon. And it turns out there's an enhancer for the lactase gene in that exon. So let's talk about how this works. Lactase uses a very low affinity promoter, right? So the promoter, the part of the gene that kind of gets everything started, where like transcription factors and RNA polymerase, where all those enzymes and things, they'll, they'll bind and then they'll start transcribing the gene, they'll start expressing the gene. That promoter is low affinity. Now, early in life, most of your metabolic genes are being expressed at very low levels because as mammals, again, milk, we have a limited diet, right? So you have lots of lactase expression and the expression of the other promoters or the other genes that utilize other similar promoters is fairly low. But now later in life, as you bring all these other genes online, they're going to have higher affinity promoters. So the level of expression of other metabolic genes goes up. And as a result of that, the lactase loses out, right? It gets outcompeted. It's low affinity promoter gets outcompeted by all those other promoters for the limited number of like transcription factors and things. So you see a drop off from childhood to adulthood in lactase expression. And that's why we lose the ability to digest lactose as adults. But what happens in uh, the case of lactase persistence is that you have mutations to that enhancer that increase the affinity of that promoter. So when you have other promoters coming online, the lactase promoter is able to effectively compete. So instead of seeing a big drop off in lactase expression, what you see is little drop off as all those other genes are coming online. And the thing I want to emphasize right here is that this drop off has nothing to do with the loss of regulation. We haven't broken any repressors or anything. We're just taking an enhancer that is going to upregulate that gene and we're making it work more efficiently. So when it normally would lose out for transcription factors to get expressed, it's no longer doing so and you maintain expression through adulthood. That's the mechanism, no loss of regulation. So to summarize lactase persistence, creationists often claim that this is due to a loss of regulation, specifically an inactivated repressor gene. The actual mechanism is an increase in enhancer affinity within that upstream MCM6 gene. This allows the lactase promoter to stay active throughout adulthood, so you get lactase persistence without any loss of regulation. So loss of lactase regulation, conferring lactase persistence, that, as usual, is a big fat creation myth. Thank you for watching, and as always, don't get fooled.